Recently, I searched for Glow in Google search engine, and that's what I have encountered. Um, it is not exactly the kind of glow in Unity I want to talk about. Anyways, that's the effect we'll be achieving today, guys. So uh, this is Clipper and welcome to our game dev society. So we start with creating a very basic new project in the universal rendering pipeline. Then we let the Unity do its uh, processing work. Anyhow, we are graded with a very basic scene with a lot of assets pre-made, but we don't know, we don't want them, so we create a new scene. And first of all, we change the camera settings to solid color and a dark gray, as always. Then we create a cube, and as a matter of fact, we need a material, we call it a new material. Obviously, we change its albedo to, to yellow, and we set it to be emissive. Also, there is the emission color, we drag and drop it, but wait, it doesn't work. However, I know why. There is uh, one more thing we have to do. So we go into our camera script and we add volume script. And despite the generic icon, it's not a script I've made in the back of my barn, but it's a... Uh, so we add it, uh, we change the volume to global, we add a new profile, we override this new profile by adding Bloom. Uh, we, of course, uh, make it, um, we toggle on the intensity. We set it, for example, to two. And we can change the tint, but mm, to kind of yellow. And as you can see, uh, the glowing effect can be seen in the editor window, however, not in the game scene, uh, which is the view of our camera. So in order to fix that, and that's the error you've been probably facing, we need to go into camera script and there we need to toggle on this render post-processing and voila, we are done. That's the thing you need to do. So just remember to toggle this post-processing effect in camera screen. So that's the effect we wanted to achieve and we did. So thank you guys for watching and remember to always wash your hands because of virus and hygiene.